everybody, welcome to another episode of Jessica Smith TV. Today's episode is the lower ab circuit. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna target the lower part of your abdominal wall by engaging multiple muscle groups, keeping you in a calorie burning mode so we help reduce your overall body fat faster, which is how you're gonna see results in that lower belly pooch area. Of course, you know this, but abs and diet go hand in hand. So make sure that you're also pairing your workouts with a healthy diet. Check out our free cardio abs guide below, which has some great tips, meal ideas, and snack ideas from a registered dietitian. Okay, I think we're ready to get going. So if you're on a hard surface, make sure you got a mat handy for our floor work. We're warming things up here with a little march. Checking in with the posture, abs are drawn in tight. I want you to think about three things during our workout today. One most important, belly button is drawn into the spine. You can still breathe comfortably. Two, you're gonna draw up your pelvic floor muscles. So I want you to really contract, think about lifting, pulling in, and then pressing down. Three points, up, in, and down, yeah? Even when you're marching, right here. Let's make this a high knee. We're gonna lift up, keeping those three points engaged. Good, and as that leg starts to move, really feel those abs contracting even stronger. Draw the belly into the spine. Keep that posture, don't let this start to happen, yeah? Keep it back, nice. Good, so our first exercise continues our warm up, but it starts to use some larger muscle groups. So we're gonna start off with a rear lunge and a toe touch. So I'm gonna just turn on a little quarter here. You're gonna step back, reaching your opposite arm by your ear, come up and tap your toe and balance. Down for two, up for two and hold it. So we're gonna really keep it slow and controlled. Down and up, draw the abs in tight. Good, bending both knees about 90 degrees. Step back into that rear lunge, lift and pull. Give me two more here. Good, one more time. And we're gonna keep this going, but we're gonna extend the leg as it comes forward. Kind of in a little kick, but pause at the top. Come back, pause, and down, and scoop those abs in tight, good. Now, if your leg isn't getting perfectly straight, you can certainly keep bending it if you need to. Make it work for you. We got two more on this side. Come down, lift up, give me one more. Come down, lift up, good. Bring it down, march it out, left, right. So let's keep that heart rate up. We're gonna stay in that cardio mode. Step knee nice and big, lift, lift. Just swing your arms, good. Just taking a little breather before we go to that other side. So remember, checking in. Pull in, lift up, press down, good. March it out, let's turn to the other side. So we're gonna reverse it, just starting with the knee bend and toe tap. Ready, arm comes up, step it back for two. Balance, tap that big toe. Inhale, and exhale, good. Inhale, exhale and reach for that foot. Good. Now we don't expect this to be perfect. You're gonna get a little wobble and wiggle, that's okay. That means your muscles are working hard. Come down. Lift up, we got one more like this. Now extend the leg as far as you can as it comes forward. Lift, come down, and lift, that's it. Control it, squeeze, and down. Lift up, give me four more. Bend both knees, reach front, and three. Lift up, last two, here we go. Good, and up one more, here it is down and up, walk it out, good. All right guys, let's move on to our mat. We're gonna come down here with Peanut. We're gonna start in a hovering kneel. So you're gonna tuck your toes under, your hands are underneath your shoulders, draw those abs in, lift your knees just a couple inches. Now your hips are in line with your shoulders at this point. We're gonna walk the feet in and pike it up. Your front foot walks first, it's nice and quick. You're gonna come up, up, and then down to this hover position looks like this. Up, down, up, down. Contract, two, lift your hips. Four more, three. Now you can stay with this, or you're gonna hop both feet together for eight. Land in your hover, seven, six. Shoulders stay over our hands, five, four. Come on, three, two. Give me one more. 
hold that hover, come down, point your toes, release. Whew. We got that heart rate up, right? We're gonna do a little kneel and hinge. Now if you need more padding, fold your mat under for your knees. Your abs are in tight, the arms reach up, hinge. Now pull down your back. Inhale, exhale, squeeze shoulders, the hips. Inhale, exhale and pull. Feel the front of the thighs, feel that abdominal wall. Inhale, pull those shoulders down. Reach overhead, exhale, good. Now don't just arch here. You wanna hinge with the whole body. Pulling up, good. Inhale, exhale, pull. Two more. One more time. Great job. So we're gonna go back to that little step. This time we're gonna switch the lead foot. So we're gonna start with that little hover position. Ready, walk it in nice and quick. Up, down, up, down. Pike your hips. Walking the feet, stay on the balls of the feet. Four, three. Remember you can stay with this or jump it for eight. Here we go, eight, hover, seven. Don't slam the knees to the ground. Keep them lifted. Four, three, two, give me one more. Hold that hover, come down. Ooh, we did it. We're gonna take that hinge one more time. Pointing the toes, abs tight, here we go. Reach, pull down. Inhale, and exhale. Now you don't have to go back far to feel this. So start smaller, so you make sure you keep that great alignment. From there, you can try going back further if you feel ready. Inhale, exhale, pull. Two more. Good, last one. Whew. Great job, guys. Let's keep working the body here. So we're gonna get a little bit more into the triceps, working a little more of the hips and the glutes, but of course those abs. So you're gonna bend your bottom elbow underneath you, palm presses firmly into the floor, top leg is lifted, top hand goes behind our head. Now we're gonna push up, straighten this arm and bend this knee into the chest. It's here, tap. Yeah, you're gonna feel your obliques, but also that lower ab area helps pull that knee up and into the chest. Same time we're working that bottom shoulder and the bottom triceps. Pull up, good. Press, we wanna work the whole body here while we continue to focus on that lower ab area. Give me eight more. Seven, six, you got this. Five, come on. Four, three, two, one more. Great job, guys. Before we go to the other side, I want you to lay all the way onto your back. We're gonna do a little running sit-up. So your opposite elbow and knee bend together. Come up and down, up and down. If you need to make it easier, both knees can stay bent. And I'm keeping my upper back from coming all the way back down. So those abs are really staying engaged. Lift and lower. Good. We have eight more, seven, six, five, last four. Lift up into it, and two. One more, great job. Hug the knees, rock it up. Let's set it up on the other side. Excuse me, Peanut. She's had a long day, okay. Her lower abs are fabulous. She doesn't need to worry about that. So we're gonna press up through the arm, bend the knee, tap it down. Push, good. So here's the deal. If you start to feel this more in the shoulder than the back of the arm, your arm may be too far out. So make sure it's right underneath your shoulder. Push up, nice and strong. Abs engaged, good. Keep it going, six more. Five, four, three, we have two more. You got this. Great job, let's go back to that running sit up. One more set. Lay on your back, do what you need to do. If you need to bend the knees, go for it. Ready, let's go. Come up, back. Opposite arm comes into that knee. Lift, good. So remember, when we, have, when we do any kind of sit up or crunch, we wanna keep it out of the low back. 
especially when those legs are longer. So feel free to come back here or even stay a little smaller with your range of motion. We want to keep it in the abs. Four more. Last two. One more. Great job. Hug those knees. Okay guys, rock yourself up. We're gonna move on from here. Now this one can be a little challenging. So if, it's, if you're not quite ready for it, I want you to just work on the push-up part. So we're gonna take the feet into a wide V, and we're gonna go into a traditional push-up, except that we're gonna jump the feet in between each push-up, doing a little tuck, so we really get those abs engaged. So we're gonna step wide apart with the feet. I have to make sure I'm not gonna hit Princess Peanut. So we're gonna come down for a push-up, and then as you extend your arms, jump the feet in, jump back into the push-up. Yeah, I know, it's a little tough. So remember, you can go to your knees, you can just work on the push-up if that works better. We're gonna try just five in a row. Ready? Here we go. Jump out, come down. Five, tuck up. Four, tuck up. Three, two, one more. Hold it, have a seat. Sorry, Peanut, I know I tacked you on that one. So we're gonna come down. She's gonna pay me back for it. Extend, take your back leg on top. No, don't start licking me now. I'm gonna lower the legs. My low back is off the floor. I want you to come down for two counts. Exhale, zip up. Watch my form, make sure I'm doing this right. And lift. Good, inhale. Exhale, don't arch your back. Four more here, and down. Exhale, three. Good, just two more, come on. One more time, here we go. Breathe it in, good. So let's set it up. On the other side, we're gonna try five more, those beautiful push-ups. Then we'll try the dips and lifts, ready? So we're gonna start in that tuck position. Make sure your abs are in tight. Are you ready? Here we go, take it out for five. Tuck, four, three, Two, one more, tuck it up, have a seat, and extend the leg. So now we're gonna switch the leg that's on top and come down, lift up. Inhale and exhale. So really push your shoulders away from your ears. You wanna keep the forearms in the floor, nice and strong. Zip up through that abdominal wall. Exhale and inhale, two more. And down, give me one more. And breathe, good. So from here, we're gonna come up onto the hands, bending the knees, feet hip width apart. We're gonna lift up to tabletop. So I want you to lift those hips up, really lifting the pelvis up towards the ceiling. Push away from the floor, don't sink into your wrist. Now, you're gonna give me a little bend in the elbows, and I want you to think up, give me a little press. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, now hold it. We're gonna extend the legs and try to slide the hips between our hands. We're here. Come back up. Now, a couple of ways that you can make this easier. If you have yoga blocks available, put your hands on the blocks so you have a little more space between you and the floor. Or, just try bringing the hips back as far as you can. Maybe you're just gonna go here today and then lift up from there. Exhale, scoop in and in, in. Lift one more time, back. Take this one up and hold it, lift that pelvis. Let's go for eight more presses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very good, lower down. Let's turn over so we're lying face down. So we're gonna give those abs a little break and we're gonna even things out and work the back of the body a little bit. I want you to reach your hands back. Two thumbs up, pull your shoulder blades back and together. Lift your chest, lift your thighs. Just hold it for me right here. Keeping the thumbs up, good. Now I want you to extend the arms, bend them in, reach out to a V. Pull down your back, reach to your feet. So your feet are staying lifted, you come in, reach out to your V, pull down the back, reach to your feet, take it quicker. In, up, in, back, in, up, in, back, keep squeezing, thumbs up. You can look at the floor, you don't need to look at me anymore. Chin to the chest, four, reach back, three. Reach back, give me two more, forward, 
and back, last one to the front, last one to the back, extend a little higher, release it, we're gonna go back and try that tabletop one more time, so knees bent. If you need to take your hands a little wider, you can. Lift up, abs in tight, ready? Eight nice and quick presses. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Slide the hips back and up. Good, exhale, inhale. Exhale, slide back, inhale, lift up. Take your time if you need to go slower, you can. Last two, one more, we're gonna hold up again. Hold it up, eight more presses, go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, you got it. Last time, through with the hips. Back up, exhale, squeeze. Good, slide it back. Use those lower abs. There you go. Inhale. Exhale. Two more, guys. We got this. Come on, last one. Make it work. Take it back. Lift up, hold. Come on down. Good. We're back on the stomach one more time. So we worked the lower back a little bit in that one, too. You're going to really feel it here. Lift up. Bend the elbows in. Reach out. Bend in, reach back. Stay as high as you can. Chin to the chest. Neck is long. Thumbs are up the entire time. So the higher you extend, the more challenging this is. Make it work for you. Reach. Press back. Three more. Last two. One more, here we go. Front and back. Let's release it. Hips over the heels. Stretch it out and breathe. Good, coming up onto the knees. You can keep those toes tucked under or come up onto the balls of the feet. Just reach back for your heels. Open up those abs. Good, let it go. And slowly come up onto the feet. Inhale, round the back. Exhale, arch. Do it again, inhale, round. Exhale, arch. Let's roll all the way up to a standing position. Shoulders rolling down the back. Take a nice deep breath in. And exhale, let it go. Great job with your lower ab circuit workouts today, guys. Thanks so much for sweating with me, and I'll look forward to our next workout together. And before we say goodbye today, I just want to say a very special thank you to Power Music, who provided us with this great upbeat soundtrack for our workout today. Be sure to give them some love and visit their website, workoutmusic.com. They have a huge variety of pre-mixed workout music tunes, all set to specific beats per minute to help you stay motivated during your workouts, workoutmusic.com. Thanks so much for sweating with me today, guys, and I'll look forward to our next routine together. Take care.